All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna discuss is it cheaper to build a tiny house on your own or buy a shed and convert it into a tiny house? I got it all broken down right here, so let's go. Good morning, guys. Gotta get some coffee going. Gotta let the dogs out. Gotta choose which shoes to wear. Oh, good morning, guys. Good morning, y'all. As they uh, sleep out here, yes, I know. Where's all the structures, guys? Literally, they'll sleep in there or they'll sleep right here. So I put them up at night. It's hunting season. Uh, we want to make sure our dogs don't roam off, go do anything, get hurt. Uh, again, it's hunting season. Guys, they're not upset about it. So you should neither. Yeah, bro. Guys, see, they don't care. They just excited. Sweet. So, you excited? Oh, 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 yeah. As this weather just brings out, oh, that's what I'm saying. This brings out the joy and joy. Poop. We're well, gonna go pee on that stuff. But, guys, we gotta get this day started. All right, guys, I'm all dressed up. I got my COVID, my COVID, and my COVID sunglasses. Let's go. Oh, yeah, son, look at that. More on that in a minute. First, got to feed the animals. Just for some of y'all out there, yes, we do feed them more than what I just showed you. Uh, we only show a little bit at a time, but they're eating. Chickens are eating. Pigs are eating. All right, let's go back over there and deal with a tiny house. All right, guys, most of you know, finished the outside. Pretty pumped with that, but what I'm not pumped with is all this garbage. Guys, we gotta figure something out. I don't know, let me think about this. Huh, what am I gonna do with all this junk? Uh, what can I do, what can I do? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Holy cow. I think I got it. All right, all right, after deliberating and uh, getting a little sip of that cob, yeah? Um, I think I figured it out. If you guys have been here a while, I did this last time and it worked really great. So let's try this again. Oh yeah, sucker, sucker. Yes, cold beer powers always work. Yes, this is what I'm talking about, baby. You can do little stuff too. Oh, I know you guys are probably asking yourself, where's it going? Who cares? What the hell is all this trash? Jason, always give me trash. Guys, if you like little skits and effects like that, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that cool stuff. There is a lot to learn in this video, but uh, just know all the other videos are going to have cool little things like that. We have so much fun around here, but now, what you guys been waiting for? All right, guys, I got Bandit coming up here, but I do have it all broken down right here. This is every transaction. I'm gonna throw the numbers up on the screen. Uh, that way you guys can see them all. And then we will actually uh, total it up and then we'll go over to Jared's and we'll break down his as well. So here's just the numbers that I spent over the last, I think, three to four months. $112, $1,450, $32, $1,500, $1,500, one twenty one one thousand one hundred and sixty one two hundred and fifty one thousand fifty nine six hundred and ninety four one hundred and forty five five sixteen six sixty seven five sixteen three oh four three oh three thirty three dollars five hundred uh two hundred and thirty four seventeen one thousand two hundred and eighty seven 231, 815, 354, 1,115, 138, uh, 576, 455, 264, 333, 314, 190, 26, 714, 136, 118, 489, 513, 1,733, 56, 134, 64, and the last one is 
So if you guys were adding that along with me, the grand total for a build like this, and this includes the doors, windows, metal on the roof, metal trim, uh, all the outside, everything you see on the outside, plus some uh, very little bit of the walls on the inside, um, that equals $19,454. Uh, I started adding it up and I was like, holy cow, that is a ton of money. Um, almost $20,000 to build the outside of this house. Uh, pros and cons of that, uh, it's completely custom. It was built here. We were able to build it over time. Um, as YouTube creators, we're able to make our money back by posting videos. So we got to supplement some of that money, uh, get some of it back. Um, we got to just fully do it ourselves. Uh, just all of that. Um, it's a custom shape. You can't buy something like this and have it brought in. Uh, so if you break it down, uh, 420 square feet and the total price was 19454 that is $46 a square foot that's a lot um, you guys need to remember that this is the time when lumber prices were just out of the roof uh, a 2 by 4 was like $10 uh, there was nothing we could do about it we needed to build the house so we did so with that being said pretty close to $19,500. So uh, we're gonna go over to Jared's shed house. We're gonna talk about the price for that. And then we're gonna talk about, because a lot of people don't understand this, rent to own. This was paid in cash. So nothing else is owed. $19,450 straight cash, no debt, no nothing on this. Let's go to the uh, shed to house. All right, guys, I'm over here at Jared's shed to house. Uh, I think most of you guys already know, but if not, if you're new to the channel, it's Jared Crocker. I'll put a link and all that stuff. Uh, he literally got a shell delivered. As you guys can tell, it is a 14 by 32, yes. which is 448 square feet. Um, I already did all the math on that and stuff. <laughs> that was some good math right there. What? Is that wrong? No, that's right, but I mean, it's... Yeah. What's all the math to do about it? <laughs> I'm just, well, you got to multiply it. It's a lot. Um, but anyways, uh, you guys heard the breakdown of building over there. Jared did not want to have to do that. Um, we are, I guess, different. I'm not a builder. Yeah. And I wanted something that was easier to start out with. Yeah. If I was going from the ground up, to be honest, I'd probably still be working on the base of this it, thing. Yeah. So I'm definitely more of the builder. Uh, Jared, it, it. More of the bronze, the looks, the, the money, the funniness, the uh, overall just more appealing. So if you guys like that, go to his channel. <laughs> but um, pretty much, uh, we wanted to break this down. What? Okay, so not insulation, nothing like that. All just right. getting the so, building. How much was it? You have to put down. First off, you have to put down a deposit as well. I yeah. think it's like ten percent of what the building is, or something like that. Uh, the shell of the building, fourteen by thirty-two, was eighteen thousand. Okay. That includes the dormer up top, which is fifteen hundred. Uh, five three by five windows, a three by three window, and a two by three window, and then also I got it wrapped around with the uh, vapor barrier. So yeah, uh, that was a total of about eighteen thousand. So eighteen thousand, as you guys know, for uh, it differs it, different places. I think. Yeah, yeah. So this just this exact build. We're talking about our exact build and this exact build. Can you guess how much we spent on ours to build? Uh, y'all's is sixteen by thirty. Well, kind of. It's 448 well, square I, feet. I also know that you've been building during uh, inflation, so it's a little more expensive. Uh, I would say probably close to the same. I'd say probably 20. 19,000, basically 19 and a half thousand. So it's only $1,500 difference, um, but ours is a different. If I added one more dormer, it would have been the It same. would have been. So a uh, different shape. You couldn't get and ours front, moved back in. Doors too, I added on, so. Okay, yeah. So um, pretty much. The thing is that I want to put out there, it's about the same amount because they get their material, they get their materials cheaper. Um, so they have, you know, they could buy bulk and all that. Um, 
right now, like Jared said, and I said earlier, inflation, it was t about $10 for a 2 well, by 4 We picked the wrong time to start building, and it's the well, same thing with the, the buildings themselves. They, they've gone up. To give you an idea, the house down in Texas was a 16 by 50 Yeah. with all the upgrades we did, and that was about 17000 Yeah, so this is way smaller, half the size. Yeah. yeah, five years ago, this is half the size and same price. But here's what I want to uh, say to you guys. How, how it's five years? Making payments for five years? You, okay. No, rent, but it's rent to own. Yes, I have it for five years. Obviously, I'm not going to wait that long because... No, but if, say if someone did. If you waited to pay the five years, I think this $18,000 building will end up being about $48,000. So that's the point I wanted to get at. And I'm uh, not going to wait that long. No, he's not. And that's the plan and all that. But uh, the thing that I wanted to put out there for you guys, and I know it's kind of boring. That's why I spiced the, the beginning of this video up. Yes, I did clean up all the mess uh, that was thrown over here with the uh, portal. Amazing. Uh, uh, but um, if you buy it yourself with cash, luckily we had the cash, uh, so we owe nothing on it at all. Jared has to make payments on his right now. I'll tell you, um, there's $700 payments right now. Yes. And y'all are going to think, holy cow, I already know the comments. They're going to freak out about that price. No, this is just reality. It is what We're, it is. Yeah. And the, all the buildings are different. Yes. Uh, like I said, just different sizes and all that. I got the metal roof. You can change it all out. But it's it's definitely a, something if you don't know how to build from the ground up and if you're in a tight crunch, Yeah. even though it took takes average six weeks or so for them to get the building out here but yeah that it's taken us four months to build ours it, that is another thing uh, which comes down we spent about roughly on average five grand a month and it instantly put me ahead of where they were yeah we're in a competition as everybody already knows yeah but. <laughs> um but yeah so basically if you have to you have to go off of your skill levels i'm gonna intervene y'all's is about 20 grand yeah but you're choosing your own materials. You yes. can go cheaper on certain yeah. things, a lot cheaper on a lot of things. Uh, this right here, you're you're just getting a, a you, kit. You get what you get. Shell. Yeah, you get so, what they have to offer. Uh, you can change can the paint color. Yeah. yeah. So you could you could build it cheaper. Um, we did go. We didn't go over the top crazy, but um, I mean, it's about the same type of siding and all that. We just did a different look. Um, you know, Jared has the dormers up there on top. Uh, we could have done something like that. I just, my skill level was not at that point. So uh, if you're building, you don't want to do that, you can't, but they know how to put in dormers. So Jared was able to get it. So my end goal for this house is probably gonna be roughly 50K is what I want to pay to finish it completely out. Yeah. And I think I'm already halfway there. To be probably honest. yeah so he's been doing insulation all that i'll put a link to his videos as well we're he's a little bit ahead of where we're at now um as you guys could tell he's added stuff in there um the skirt and stuff he's done the insulation he started working on the rooms the bathroom all that stuff so he is ahead and that's the thing uh if you get shoot if you get a uh, shell you're already ahead of the game plus they can bring it in now the benefit of us building is we have 10 foot walls and 12 foot in the middle and the roof is different pitches uh this you can only go so big you can do certain things like the the pitch in the middle is probably close to 12 i guess at the very peak but uh you can add in different dormers, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, this, you can customize however you want. Yeah, so, uh, but the price and all that will go up. The the beauty, again, like I said, building, you can build it any shape you want. You build it there, you build it as you go. Uh, you don't owe any money unless you use credit cards and all that. But we did straight cash. Uh, we wanted it paid off like that, and we just paid as we went. And that's and, kind of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm paying on the building, yeah. but everything else, the materials and everything I'm putting in is straight cash. I'm not going to get into more debt trying to build this thing yeah up. so um i'm not going to go into too much detail on this either but uh there was stuff on jared's build as far as framing and stuff goes that really wasn't any better than what i did yeah uh yeah i'll just say this when i was putting the uh just a quick thing yeah i was putting blinds up in my room it's not trimmed out on the inside yet i just put them up but one window the blinds fit in perfect mm -hmm. the other one was very tight so some of the framing's not perfect uh, some of these companies are pumping these sheds out. Yeah, I got to switch arms real quick. <laughs> some of these companies are pumping these sheds out uh, 10 buildings a day or something yeah, like that. Something so crazy. they're just going in there, just have their crews just shooting and stuff. And some of the boards aren't straightest. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust the way that I'm doing certain things because, yeah, like I said, some of the boards yeah. are a little, little wonky. And but. that was the beauty, but also the thing that sucked is I had to go to Lowe's every time I get stuff. And I looked through every 2 by 4 We can't all blame them, though, because that's what it, they're using – 
basically the same materials too. It's well, yes, I'm just saying you have the option to pick the materials yourself with your own hands if you do it yourself, but you have to go. And for us, it's over an hour drive to get to a Lowe's or Home Depot. Three, so then three hour round trip after yeah it'll take half our day and then gas and time and all that stuff so there are definitely pros and cons um i'm sure jared will do some videos uh pros and cons of why he wanted this more than building himself i just wanted to beat you and danielle to finish the house probably <laughs> um but um hopefully this video kind of breaks it down um i think i wrote it down jared's square footage uh for 448 um was about 38 39 dollars a square foot so it was cheaper uh, for him to get it but having to pay the interest on the rent to own and all that is going to come in and, um, if you don't pay it off fast yeah. so I it have a, has its pros and cons i have my game plan as far as paying it off kind of like i did in texas where i paid it off several early, early yeah so and you can always build on to these yeah uh, i mean it, it just is what it is just a an instant building out here yes so. so um i just wanted to do a quick video guys you can tell it it's almost the same style and everything as the tiniest over there they look pretty similar pretty close to the same size pretty close to the same price but if you do this just know rent to own pay that sucker off fast i know a lot of you out there don't want to build from the ground up so save your money uh pay it off as quick as you can and then work on the inside whatever you got to do just pay that interest off fast i may do a uh, i guess a part two to this video i guess of this video yeah maybe okay. uh of the interior just the different layouts of what we have same square footage basically but just different layouts and give yeah. you guys a good understanding of just different styles you can do with the same amount of space. Yeah, so guys, uh, make sure to check out Jared's channel. Um, if you guys don't know, we have a whole playlist of building our house. You, you have a playlist, I assume. You don't do playlists? You gotta do playlist. Well, shoot, um, shoot he's gonna create a playlist. Shoot yeah. Shoot he's gonna create a playlist so I you think guys. I have one, I just don't add videos. Okay, he literally has it from bringing the shed in delivered to where it's at now. And again, he's got the spray foam insulation, the wiring. He started in the bedroom. He's putting shiplap up, doing all that stuff. So uh, he's pretty far along. So check out his stuff. Uh, check out our playlist. We have all of it. Hopefully this video broke it down for you guys. What I know it's just a uh, lot of talking. What y'all's end goal price-wise on that house? Shoot. Um, if we're at almost 20 right now. You don't have a budget? What you want to stay under? 40. Shit. That's my goal. Shit. Well, you're, well, we're doing drywall and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's, so, so he's doing shiplap. The tongue and groove, and it's it's expensive. Yeah, so uh, ours is about 40. His is about 50. Uh, he is going for a different look. We're going for a different look. It'll probably end up being about the same, realistically. Both of us, about 50. Um, and to have two houses <laughs> built for about 100 grand, it's a lot of money. But the way this world is right now, it's not that bad. And you can go a lot cheaper, once yeah. again. I know that sounds like a lot for a small house, but it just depends on your own own style what all you want to put into yeah. it and we like to have our stuff look good so we're not going to skimp on yeah materials. and the last 16 by 50 uh that we both worked on it was, you know down there in texas maybe we'll show you some of that stuff in a future video I think that one was budgeted right around it was about forty five thousand as is and it's twice as big so it just shows that five years later everything is skyrocketed but it's still cheaper than buying a three hundred thousand dollar house in town so hopefully this video helps uh, i know it's a lot of talking but appreciate you guys um so uh the next video is going to be this boom guys got all this foam insulation it's tiger foam we're going to see if it's better jared bought the amazon we're going to see literally what's better the amazon or the tiger foam we got wiring guys we got a lot to do That'll be in the next video.